Hi everyone, and welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I just wanted to touch on some of the economic impacts of full self-driving will have on employees going to work each day. When Rockefeller started Standard Oil, it meant that there was a safe, reliable, ubiquitous source of kerosene. Suddenly people didn't have to go to bed just because it was dark. There was light after sunset. It meant people were able to stay up and read books or play games until they're actually tired to go to bed. It literally added hours of their lives each day. Now with FSD, we have something similar. Suddenly people don't have to drive. Think of people's daily work commutes of around one or two hours a day. Some perhaps spend 10% of their awake life in the car. Now they don't have to drive. So instead they can catch up on some work or have a nap, play some games, watch movies, but they don't have to concentrate on driving. Rush hour is stressful and tiring. You're stuck in gridlock traffic, having to start and stop all the time. Listen to people beeping their horn and dealing with road rage. No one enjoys this. As a result, people can't perform at their work so well. They're less motivated, more tired already, and still have to dread the commute home. How much better would it be just to relax instead? FSD will mean you have more energy and less stress, enabling you to work more productive and efficient. For example, a doctor may be able to get two more surgeries in a week as a result of not having to drive. Work productivity in the economy will increase. The more work productivity improves, the better the economy improves. It creates a new thinking of how cars are used. They can be designed around application rather than driving. Maybe you could have a car that is set up inside like a work desk so you can work in your car, or perhaps one with life flat beds so you can have a nap. You don't need to stick with the traditional seat layout. You could have seats facing each other instead, as there is no need to look where you're going. Or perhaps some car that has all these features and you can press a button and it will change the layout and application of the car. It opens up a plethora of other opportunities and it will be exciting to see how it pans out. In the future, you might instead say to your wife, I'm just going to take the car, the bed car today, you can drive the desk car. Whereas previously, we referred to autos as convertible or SUV. Alright, thanks for listening, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.